Here we're being asked to find a vector v where the magnitude of v is 6 and the angle that the vector makes with the positive x-axis is 210 degrees. So I think I can sketch what that vector would look like. 210 degrees is uh, right about here in the third quadrant and we'll draw it to where it has a, we'll say a magnitude of 6 units. And I would like to express this either in component form or using the standard unit vectors. So I think I'll do this one with the standard unit vectors, but you could easily do it in component form as well if you'd rather. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll write vector v as, um, first of all, first thing we need to do is uh, find how to aim this guy in the right direction. And so I'm going to leave a little space because we have a, a scalar to multiply by in just a minute. But to get it aimed in the right direction, we're going to take cosine of 210 ith component plus sine of 210 degrees jth component. Now if that's all that I did, that would be a vector uh, with an i and j component in a plane that would aim in the correct direction because the cosine will give you the, um, the ith component and the sine will give you the jth component for the vector. The only problem is is that as is this is only a unit vector this would only be around the unit circle which is much shorter than it should be so what we're going to do next is we're going to scale this guy out to have the appropriate length by multiplying the whole entire vector by a scalar of six so once i figure out what the cosine of 210 and the sine of 210 is then i'm going to distribute a scalar of six to the i and j components so first of all, 210 degrees um, on a unit circle, uh, if you were thinking in radians, I mean, you could do it in degrees, but most, most of us think in terms of radians when we think about the unit circle, um, that would be seven pi over six in radians. So let's, let's see if we can compute these values here. Okay, we'd have six times, all right, what is the cosine of seven pi over six, or what's the cosine of 210 degrees? that would be negative root three over two i. And a little side note, it's super important, especially in, in an upper level calculus class, to be very sharp with your unit circle. You need to know the sine and cosine of all your major angles is super important. If you don't know those, you should go back and brush up on those. The sine of seven pi over six would be negative one half j. All right, we're almost done. Um, now we're going to distribute our scalar of 6 through. And vector v so would be, let's see, 6 times root 3 over 2. Well, 6 over 2 is 3. So we'd have negative 3 root 3. So that would simplify. And then 6 times negative a half would be minus 3j. So this would be our answer. And this has two important properties to it. Number one, I'll bet you if you take his magnitude, if you take his norm, you would get six. And uh, the angle of, of uh, elevation that he makes with the positive x-axis is 210 degrees because he points in this direction.